Hello. How are you? Uh, my name is uh, Hassan. I am one of the ED doctors. Uh, can I have your name and level, please? Uh, my name is Yusuf. I'm a medical student, fifth year. Nice to meet you, uh, Dr. Yusuf. Uh, I've been told that today you came to our emergency having a specific concern. Is that right? Yes, doctor. Please, I want to know about uh, something called arterial line. Arterial line. Yeah. So, all right. This is a very important topic. So, do you have any uh, idea before regarding arterial line? Uh, no, I don't have any idea. So, there is no information priorly. Yeah. So, our task today to teach you about the arterial line in details. So, please, I need you to focus. If you have any question in between, feel free to ask me. At the end, I'm going to provide you with the leaflet and brochures, and you can find me available in the ED at any time. We can practice it together. Right, so I'm going to discuss in details everything. So the indication of the uh, insertion of the arterial line that it is for uh, invasive blood pressure monitoring and if we need to take a frequent uh, blood extraction and ABG sampling. So this is the indication, usually for sick critical patient. Uh, the contraindication if the patient is having vascular insufficiency or patient is having a full thickness burn or the patient is having uh, arterial disease like Berger disease and uh, Renault disease. Those considered to be contraindication. Uh, the complication which might happen during insertion that uh, patient can bleed excessively from the area itself mm -hmm. and uh, hematoma formation can also be there. So how to prevent and treat those complications? This is by a careful allocation of the site and it is the right procedure. We need to take our personal protective equipments. We can use ultrasound guided. This is also will increase the chance and maximize the chance of, uh, of success. Plus, we need to be sterile uh, to not to introduce any infection. So this is how we're going to treat the complication. Uh, regarding preparation, so this is a, a very invasive procedure. We need to explain the procedure to the patient clearly, and uh, we need to take a written consent from the patient. And so we need to prepare ourselves. We need to have uh, our equipments and we need to allocate the site first. So the site of the arterial insertion, arterial line insertion will be either uh, radial or, or femoral. So can you repeat uh, again what are the indications? Yes, uh, you said the indications are invasive or, uh, blood pressure monitoring and if we want to take uh, frequent samples of the... Frequent ABG samples and yes. blood sampling, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Now we came to the part of preparation we explained. Now we can step, we can show you okay. the equipments for uh, airline. Good. So this is trial procedure, assuming that already we got full sterilization of the area. We need to prepare two things, two systems. So we need to insert the cannula for the patient mm -hmm. and we need to build our pressure system. So up to this level, we are fully sterilized. We need to do our things. So you can see here, this is a, a arterial line set, right? And uh, we need to have uh, introduce your needle and our uh, set as well. So here I'm going to search for the, the needle. So assume this is a needle of insertion and this is a airline set. So first of all, we have to allocate the position for example we're going to do it uh, radial okay. so we have to keep the position hyperextended mm. and you have to go through the needle but prior to this allen's test is very mandatory here you have you know how to do it Are it is sure? just like ask the patient to make a fist like this and you're going to compress both uh, radial and ulnar and then you ask the patient to elevate the fist and the arm will become pale and then you're going to release the ulnar and check for revascularization of the area within the two uh, or three seconds. If everything is fine, now you have to insert the needle in the radial side. And after that, you have to, once blood starts to come outside, meaning that you are inside the artery, you can use ultrasound guided. So the next step will be introduction of the guide wire. So this is the introducer needle, and this is a guide wire, and this is a, a airline uh, set. So once blood is coming outside, meaning that you are inside the artery, you're going to introduce the guide wire. And all the time, keep your hands on the guide wire, remove the needle and insert the, the uh, airline set. Make sure at the end you close it because the artery is pulsating, blood is coming outside. And leave it like this, secure it with uh, dressing. Okay. Now we have to build our pressure system, which is consisted of airline set. This is an airline set, which uh, should be connected eventually to 500 cc saline uh, in the pressure bag, uh, because we need to evacuate all the air in the uh, in the bag first and put it in this 
uh, pressure uh, bag and then we have to increase it up to 300 millimeter of mercury and then we need to hang it there here and then we start to evacuate the air from the system you can see there is many pore here this ended pore will be connected to the arm of the patient okay. right mm -hmm. so fluid will not be pushed and unless we are going to squeeze in this area you can see this is a sensor mm -hmm. and this is the area which will be connected to the cannula of the patient okay so we're going to squeeze until we are going to evacuate the fluid from all the bag here making sure that the system is out of air once it is done now we have to plug this one to the monitor okay mm -hmm. the idea of this uh, pressure system building that we evacuate all the air outside once this connected eventually to the cannula of the patient when the artery starts to pulsate it will push the fluid all the way back until the level of sensor sensor will sense this movement and it will be reflected in the monitor as reading of the blood pressure okay, okay. right so after that everything is ready we need to make zeroing okay so we need to open this port make it open and make sure that while you're squeezing the fluid is coming from this side meaning that this pore now is facing the atmospheric pressure now we're going to the monitor checking for the airline or the arterial uh, pressure mm. and then press zeroing and this sensor should be at the level of the heart it will remove the equation of the atmospheric pressure once zeroing is done we need to reclose it back and connect it to the artery of the patient okay. usually you can see this opening there are sometimes with uh, fenestrations, those white one. Mm. We need to replace them with the uh, yellow, so our system will be full of pressure. After that, uh, put dressing and uh, document things in the note. So, do you have any more questions? Uh, no, thank you. So it is clear for you. Yeah. It's so clear. next time you can come, we can demonstrate it together. At right, next time. Yes. So, okay. Thank you. Thank you.